welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivory Lynn and I share all things home, decor, entertaining. I'm just like, I don't know, you know, a black millennial homemaker, okay? That's, that's what I'm into. Those are my things, right? Um, but today's video is going to be a little different because I actually want to talk about our wedding. I have been planning on shooting these videos for a while. I don't know why I haven't. I was gonna make up an excuse just there and I have no real excuses for why I haven't shot these. So here I am, I'm doing it, I'm doing the work. So I just wanted to share with you guys some DIYs that I did for my wedding. Um, a little background, I got married in August of 2021. Um, I planned the wedding myself in about six to eight months time frame. I was very much, I wouldn't say I was a budget bride. I would say that I was budget conscious. So when I say that, I mean, I wanted to spend money on the things I wanted to spend money on, okay? I really want this to be X, Y, Z, let's do it. And there are things that I was not in that same spirit for. And then I did wanna mention that I'll also be sharing a couple of other videos on like, some services that we use that were really, really affordable for anybody that's planning their own wedding. Um, a planning tips video. I tried DIY florals and I'll show you that video. And a couple of the DIYs I mentioned in this video, I may do longer breakout videos on how I did them. I have some footage from that. So many, many, many fun things. Make sure you subscribe and let's get into it. Let's start from the beginning, okay? DIY, first thing I did, I DIY'd my wedding invitations. I looked at the pricing of what the going rate was for like certain cute. I was like, yeah, that's not happening. I am not spending this amount of money on invitations. Um, to me, it's just not that big of a deal. I don't believe in like saving wedding invitations and like, like past the date of the actual wedding girl. It's paper, like it's not that deep to me. I know there are like paper fanatics and people who are really into stationery and all types of things and that's awesome, that's great, that's not me. Um, so I did DIY our wedding invitations. Next thing we DIY for our wedding is all of the signage. Um, I ordered all of the signage um, myself from Amazon or Lowe's and I used my um, Cricut machine to make the signs. I think this is an affordable option. Also, if you don't have a Cricut machine, you could just order decals um, off of Etsy and like buy, you know, acrylic from Lowe's or Home Depot or Amazon and just do it yourself. That's still cheaper than like having someone draw or, you know, whatever a custom sign for you. If you're really into that, go for it. My sign was very bare bones. I like made it the night before the wedding because procrastination is not a DIY bride's friend. Okay, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, like they turned out fine. But I did those signs and then I also ordered like sign requesting um, phone free wedding. I ordered that myself as well. Although everyone still had their phones out. If you look at my wedding video, it's like phones everywhere. Phone, 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 phone. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not salty, I'm not salty. The past is the past, it was a wonderful day. But yes, I ordered that time myself. The next DIY, you guys, is the wedding arch that we got married under. Um, we made that arch ourselves. When I say we, I mean Bruce. I did not have a hand, okay? I did not have a hand in making that arch. He did that entirely himself, but um, I'll just give you a quick rundown that um, the quotes that we were receiving for an arch, including delivery, I think the cheapest quote was 350. Bruce made the arch himself. He spent about $50, I think, in materials, maybe less than that. And we had a friend, a coworker of his, um, bring it and set it up and then take it back to our house for us. And we paid him $100. So in total, it cost us $150 to make the arch ourselves. And then we sold the arch to someone else. We sold it on like OfferUp or like Facebook Marketplace for $150. So it cost us nothing. Um, that's a really good DIY that we did. And it turned out beautiful. Once she put the flowers on it, it was 
gorge. It was beautiful, worth it, worth the effort he put into building it. My dad actually, when he came in town for the wedding, again, we were procrastinating a little bit with a few things. Um, he actually sanded and stained along with Bruce our wedding arch. So it was kind of cool when we got married knowing that my dad and Bruce built this together. Um, and it's like where our new lives started, you know what I mean, under this arch. Really, really cool. Um, and like I said, we sold the arch afterwards. So that project actually cost us zero dollars. The next DIY that we did ourselves, um, I really wanted a neon sign for our wedding. Um, and we had one um, and we built a kind of like stand for it to go on so the original idea you guys is this stand was supposed to go behind the sweetheart table I and I'm putting it on me because I was the planner right did not account for the size of the dance floor the size of the sweetheart table and the bridal table there was literally no room behind the sweetheart table for the stand to even like be. It was supposed to like frame us and it just, it didn't work. And it's cool, you know, the day of the wedding when they were putting it together, they're like, hi, hey, I agree this doesn't work. We're going to put it somewhere else. And I just said, okay, because all you could do is say, okay. That stand was built out of PVC pipe. Um, and honestly, it worked out really well, even though we didn't have the, you know, we didn't have it like my Pinterest dreams of like, you know, things I put on my board. It was so beautiful. I liked it um, and the guests liked it. A lot of them took pictures with it. So I think it worked out well. So, okay, you guys. So the last DIY that I'll include here is our centerpieces. Now I did not DIY the um, flowers. The flowers that you see in my wedding video, whatever. We purchased those um, a floor, with the florist. Like we had a florist do the flowers. We didn't do them ourselves. But those square like 3D boxes, I found those online um, after finding an inspiration photo on Pinterest and decided this is the vibe I want for my wedding. Um, so I actually found them, but I found them in gold and I spray painted them black. The only thing, you guys, the actual... I did this maybe like months before the wedding. I didn't go back and quality control the work. So like some, like during the wedding, you guys, like during the reception, when I was already a little lit and been drinking, I look at some of them, paint's chipped. Okay, like the paint is chipped, honey. And it's like at least two of them that I saw, there were different spots where like paint was chipped. And I'm like, this looks so bad. But then I was also like, who cares? Um, when you see the pictures and stuff, you don't know the paint's chipped, okay? When you see the video, you don't know. It looks good, so it looks good. Let's not even worry about it. So <laughs> that's the other DIY we did. And you guys, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. Now I did buy a lot of things for the wedding. I bought the candles, I bought those candle holders that you see on the tables. I decided to use a picture frame instead of like a guest book or something, some piece of paper type of thing or they take pictures and you sign it. I didn't want any of that. I decided to not do any of that. Um, and so I got that picture frame from Crate and Barrel actually and I have it hanging in our home. Then there are smaller items that I purchased, you guys. I bought drink stirrers and lots of little cutesy things that again will be in more detail at the link below. But um, those are the big main DIYs that I did that saved us a good amount of money. Now, I have like different tactics, okay, and things that I did that saved like more substantial amounts of money, right? These DIYs, I'm telling you, may have saved $100, $200. I did some tactics that ended up saving me like $800, or you know what I'm saying? Like bigger amounts. And so like I said, I will be doing more videos. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments or anything you want me to talk about. I'm more than happy to go over anything that I can go over. Um, so yeah, let me know and thanks for watching guys.